So you need a fresh piece of paper, like uh, you're going to take the whole page, right? And you're probably going to mess it up a couple times. So here's how we're going to do it. Um, we're going to draw the triangle, and then to make sure you're right, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the angles and see how close we are. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make um, our compass five centimeters open. We're going to make it open five centimeters from the tip to the shank, right? So the way you do that is on the side of your paper somewhere, you draw a line segment very carefully. Accuracy, Felipe, is a big, big deal. That's five centimeters, right? Accuracy is super, super important. So just like I was beginning to show you yesterday, you take the shank, put it on one end of your segment, open it up so that the pen or the pencil is on the opposite end, and then you draw an arc. There you go, just like that. See how I did that? Now Jackie, uh, you got to be really careful. Really, really careful. After you draw that arc, you got to be careful that that you, this distance right here, no, that this distance right here between these two does not change. So when you, if you set this down, you got to be really careful. Hopefully, you don't set it down. After you get the, the distance set up, after you get the distance set up, you just you don't put it down. You hold it. Okay, you got it, right? Okay. So. Whether you got it or not, if you don't have it yet, you can just watch. Right? And I'll walk you through the whole thing again. So somewhere in the middle of the page, I'm just going to put a dot. And that's going to be the center of my circle. Okay. So I'm going to put the shank on the center, and then spinning the paper is the best way to do it. And then the other thing is, don't push down. Just barely, you can make a circle very, very lightly just barely touching the pencil enough to make just the faintest outline on the paper is all you need. It does not to be, need to be dark. If you push down hard, Denise, what happens is that this distance opens up because of the pressure. Right. Alright, so there's my five. Check this out. Um, Janet, the thing is, on this circle, a circle is an infinite collection of points that are all the same distance from here. So everywhere on the edge of this circle is five centimeters from here. So I could draw a line anywhere from here to anywhere on the side, and it's five. Anywhere. That's a fact. Check. Okay. So I'm going to put a dot right here. It doesn't matter where. It could have been over here. It could be anywhere. This distance is five centimeters, correct? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make another circle that's got a distance of seven make another circle with this is the center that's seven yes no right here yeah right there so seven so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that I've got seven centimeters right here I'm gonna open up my compass to be seven centimeters okay putting the shank on the end opening up the oh, there, perfect. There's seven. On your Cambridge exam, they actually measure these. They, sorry, they actually grade this. This part right here. They grade that part right there. All right. So, uh, Danny, on your compass, you don't have this. Is not put this part right here is not put in this correctly. If you look. On the sides of this, there's two little notches, and that sits inside the orange part. And then it's used better. It works better. All right. I got seven centimeters right here. So anywhere on the edge of the circle, I just draw a dot. I'm going to make another one, another circle. All I really need are the intersection points. It's all I really need are the intersection points, but I'm going to go ahead and draw the whole thing because why not? Good, Denise? If you can't keep up right here, it's okay. I'll walk you through the whole thing again in a minute. Sometimes it's better to see the whole process first, right? Now, Monse, last one. I have to draw... Wait, hold on. Back up. So, first thing, this small circle. 
Anywhere on the edge to the center is 5, and that's what I need. I need one, one distance is 5, right? Anywhere on the edge of this circle to here is 7, right? So I've got like two sides right here. I've got a 5 and a 7. So do you see how from here to here is 7? Because that's on the edge of the bigger circle. So I've got a 5 and I've got a 7. I've got a 5 right here, and I've got a 7 from here to here. Or, or from here to here, correct? Right? This would be 5 here. This would be 7 there. All right, now, 9 and a half. So I'm going to do my last distance of 9.5. 9.5 would be right here to right here. 9.5 centimeters. So same thing as before. Put the point on the end very carefully. Open it up. Oh, that was lucky. Look at that. First adjustment, perfect. Dang, I'm done for the day. Sorry. See you guys later. It's not going to get better. All right, Adiyam. Uh, you use this original center. It usually works best if you use this original center for the smallest circle and the biggest circle. The smallest and the biggest. Use this original one. So all I need is I need a, a point to cross. So I got one there. And I got one right there. That's all I need. Yes. That one. Nope. From here to anywhere on this curve is 9.5 centimeters. So you see how like this could be one line, one side. From here to here would be 9.5. From um, here to here would be, how far would this be? Right here. 7. So I'd have a 9 and a half. I'd have a 7 and have a 5. Yes. And you do the third one. Right. So, would you guys all agree that this is 5 right here? Yes. That's 5. It's supposed to be, right? Um, let's see here. Would you agree that uh, this right here, from here to here, is 9 and a half? 9.5? And then from here to here is 7. See how you do it? We good or bad? So those of you who are trying it right now, I'm going to write some steps here for you, okay? First thing you do Make a circle around point. Well, that's supposed to be two words. A point. Make a circle around a point. That's your smallest distance. Right? Second thing you do. Make a point on the edge and around that make the second circle, the middle sized circle. Right? And then the third step. From the first point, from the first point, make a circle that's the biggest. And then connect the intersections. make your triangle.
Oh, yeah, do you feel confident yours is right? Yes. Yeah? Cool. Last year on the Cambridge exam, they had to do this. This is something you're going to have to remember how to do. I'll give you practice plenty. Thank you.